Dance of the Sugar Plum Fairy. Now, in this song, we have to notice that the left hand is going to be playing in the treble clef and the right hand is in the treble clef. So basically the right hand, here's middle C, the right hand is gonna be up in this range and the left hand is gonna be in this range. And it's too tricky to write the notes way above the bass clef when the left hand is here. So that is why we have a treble clef for the left hand and a treble clef for the right hand. Okay, it's, there we go. Wasn't zooming in properly. So it may be helpful in the music to actually write your notes E, G and B, E, A and C, E, the A and C are sharp, E, back to just normal, A and C. This one's the same as this one. So it goes A and C, then sharpening them, and then going right back. So it is a little helpful if you write some of those in initially, and then you'll see that that pattern continues throughout the portion of the song. So I'm going to show you what that looks like for the left hand. Just mount it up here. Here we go. So the left hand's going to be up in the middle C. I'm going to move my camera stands kind of in the way here. I'm just going to scooch it a little bit. There we go. So here's my right hand. It's going to be playing. Okay, so that's the pattern. going to play the right hand. The right hand is going to be up, here's middle C, and here's the E above. Now we do have to look at the beginning of the song. There is a sharp in the key signature and the top line of the music staff is every good bird does fly. That's F. So we'll always be playing F sharp even though it's not marked in the music unless there's a natural sign which tells us to play just a regular F, we always play the F sharp because it's in the key signature. So we just have to remember that. Sometimes I forget when I'm looking at music and then if I play a mistake, I just stop right there and um, take my pencil and put a sharp sign in front of the note so I don't practice the mistake. Okay, so at the very beginning, we start with the rest, we would have one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And now our hand has to go even higher, eight VA. So I'm gonna move my stand up here. We're gonna be in the C major hand position, and don't forget that we have the F sharp there, so we would have one, two, and three, four, one, two, three, and four, one, and two, three, and four, one, and two, and three, four. Then we move our hand back down. We have to be ready for a page flip here. So we have one, two and three four one two and back up higher three and four one and two three and four one and two and three and right there in measure 12 we have the d sharp that's marked the f sharp is not marked because it's in the key signature and the D that comes around the second time doesn't have a sharp sign in front of it, but it's still sharp because it's in the same measure. So in measure 12, we have... Okay, so now we go back down. I'm gonna to have to move my stand again because it's just in the way for me. We are in measure 13. One, two, and three, four. One, two, three, and four. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. One, two and three, four. 
one, two and three, four, one, two, three. Okay, so that's the whole right hand. The left hand does move back into the bass clef at that measure 12 when we had this section right there. We start reading the left hand in the bass clef because all the notes are going lower. And now it's doing that same pattern from the beginning. Oh, and then it's going to go higher. So it reached even higher than what we had before. I'm going to start right on measure 13 and play it again. We have just like the beginning, except the lower. Here's the sharp. And now here we go higher and then back down the way we came up. All right, now we're getting lower. Two, three. Okay, and that's a lower E. All right, sorry I had to move this around quite a bit. I'm trying to get a nice zoomed in so you can see what's happening, but obviously it's not wide enough pan for this whole um, screen and the stand is sitting right here <laughs> in the middle. So I am going to play the whole thing. I don't want to zoom out, so... Uh, I'll just lift the bar up just slightly and hopefully you'll be able to see the whole thing. Um... It's got to go higher. Okay, so it's quite a ways away. Less detail here, but you get the gist of the whole song. 